based on a wild true story, the new movie How to Murder Your Husband follows a romance novelist played by Sybil Shepherd, who writes about murder and then actually does the deed to her husband, played by Steve Gutenberg. Take a look. And you know, I love reading what you come up with, right? Wow. The hot parts. <laughs> there are a lot of those. So mm -hmm. isn't that enough? That it makes you happy to do it and it's something we can share? What does it matter if the books get published? What are you trying to say? What I said, what matters is that it makes you happy to do it. Uh, and Steve joins us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. That was an evil look, right, that from Sybil an, Shepherd? Yes. An evil look. It's not fun to get an evil lip look from Sybil Shepherd. No, you don't I want imagine. to get that. By the way, you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look so great. <laughs> Thank you, you so you much. You must be living your life great, right? I, I'm pretty happy. Good. I think, you know, you, you, when you're happy on the inside, it shows you yeah. look fantastic. Yeah. So we haven't seen each other in a couple of years, and it's, it's nice, nice to see, to you, see you. Yeah, but let's talk about this because this is a shocking true story which yeah. is almost like if it wasn't a true story you'd say oh my god nobody would Couldn't do have. that type of thing woman woman uh, decides to take out an insurance policy on her husband yeah write a blog called how to murder your husband and buys a gun online and you would yes. think uh it sort of points toward guilty yes yeah. yeah how much did you know about this story because she was just convicted last year in 2021 right i didn't know anything about it I never I heard anything this. about it. I don't like to listen about murder, especially yeah. a, a wife murdering her husband. <laughs> right. you know, I'm married, and I don't like to sleep like this. <laughs> but I actually told my wife, Emily, that it's called How to Give Your Husband a Back Rub. <laughs> which is a much better title to me. Yes, so yes, Saturday yes. night, she, when she sees it, she'll be surprised. Right, and then you say, we should practice. Yeah, we should practice. <laughs> just, uh, just a little back, back rub. Yeah. But it was really great working with her. Sybil Shepherd is adult, not working yes. with my wife. Yes. Uh, living with my wife is great. Yeah. But working with Sybil Shepherd was great because I remember her, and I fell in love with her in Taxi Driver yes. and, and Chances Are and, and The Heartbreak are. Kid. I loved that. Moonlighting yeah. was and it for me. Of yeah. course. But so I, we had a great time shooting it. Did you guys know each other before this? Never met her before, but when she walked in the first time, we were doing makeup and hair. She's a big presence. I mean, she's five she eleven, gorgeous. She was a supermodel yeah. and sweet as hell. Really yeah. nice lady. Yeah. Well, um, you know, you spoke to, with People Magazine saying that this was kind of your reintroduction back into acting. Yeah. You took some time off because you were taking care of your your dying father. Yeah. My uh, dad was sick for about five years. Yeah. So I decided to move out to Arizona where he was living, and spend almost every day with him. And take care of him. And then my sister and I went to a medical school and we learned how to become dialysis technicians. Oh, wow. Because we were taking him to the dialysis center for three years. Then we decided to do dialysis for two years at home. Yeah. And, it was and you good. wrote a book about this, too. I did. I, I wrote a book that'll be coming out this year and next year. Because there are 35 million caregivers in this country, but we're all separate. Yeah. We're at different homes. You never get together. Yeah. So I thought by writing something that would connect us all. And everybody knows somebody that's taking care of somebody that's either sick or elderly, et cetera. Yeah. Um, well, I know that you have not left TV, you know, obviously. Uh, you're back on The Goldbergs. Yeah, I there love that show. There was a fun little throwback to Three Men and a Baby. Right, right. Which right. was such a great movie. But how did the whole idea come back, come about to, to join the Well, cast those guys at, at Goldbergs are very, very smart guys. They're very funny. They love the 80s. Adam Goldberg loves the 80s. Yeah. So he invited me on the show to play Dr. Katman, one of his teachers. And then out of nowhere, they did this really crazy scene, which is they're trying to get the baby to sleep. And all of a sudden, I walk into the house house and I go hey I heard you're trying to get the baby to sleep and we sing goodnight sweetheart but the truth is like what is Dr. Catman doing in my house and yeah. at the end of the scene he goes you're not supposed to be here. Can you leave? I go, sure. It was a, kind of a freaky scene, but yeah. it was good. I just sang that to my daughter the other day, and you she did? absolutely loved it. She's five, so she's yeah. older than a baby, but she still loved that it's song. A sweet still song. plays. Still plays, Steve. Yeah. All right, well, you're also taking the stage this spring um, in New Jersey, and it's going to be based on the, the memoir you wrote. Yeah, I wrote a 2012, memoir. 2012, uh, right? Yeah, about my first 10 years in Hollywood, and it's going to be at the George Street Playhouse starting uh, April 28th, and it's funny, and it's very touching, and I hope everybody comes. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, well, I hope Hope everybody comes to and it's so lovely to catch up with you. It's really good to see you Always again, Sarah. Always good to see you. Well, you can catch How to Murder Your Husband when it premieres tomorrow, January 14th at 8 p.m. and streams the next day on Lifetime.